Hey everybody, De really here. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Rain the Floor, still on Leon's path. And uh, let's see. Oh god, okay. We got some people, I don't know, they've been drag racing or something around here for like an hour now. And hopefully that won't interfere with the recording too much. I really hope. But if you hear any background revving noises, it's because some crazy person is driving their really loud cars around a residential area. After midnight for some reason. Alright, well, um, let's see. We were talking about we need to look at the water mirror to see the state of the land, but it's risky because just using the water mirror is, c is connected to the goddess, and we don't even want to let her get an inch closer to possessing Violet's body. So, uh, yeah, we're discussing that. Let's finish that discussion, and you can just sit back, relax, and let me read you a story. Gizlam was just saying, I don't think we should. The water mirror is a focal point for the goddess's power, as it's a relay point for grace. If you use it now, it might just be enough to let the goddess take over. Well, that's definitely a concern, but only the rain can use the water mirror. Yes. However, what Gizlan is saying is true. We may have to take that into consideration. While I think about what we should do, Orpheus hesitantly speculates. It will certainly affect our bodies if the situation gets worse. For now, there aren't any changes, so why don't we just wait and see? That's a possible course of action, if a bit passive, but something strange. Since the last ceremony was interrupted, Pavone should still be in poor condition. Ugh, it's probably because of Zero's power. In other words, Zero's power has grown that much. I am not the only one who is insecure. Leon also fears being taken over. Uh, don't be sad. I meant that Zero actually helped in this case. Leon is right. Princess, it may not be much, but we have gained a little time, so we can't waste any of it. Yes, I know, but everyone, please promise me. If you see any changes in your body, tell me. That is an order from the rain. Certainly. Yes, same here. I'm totally fine for now, so don't worry. Ugh. Everyone nods, but I am still worried, especially about Gizlan. I don't want to see anybody suffer if possible, if there is a solution for breaking through the situation. When I step outside to see everyone off, Gizlan draws closer to Sumabene with a grim face. Why is there a carriage here? You know that I always ride on horseback. I know, but I thought it would be good to try something new once in a while. That's not a good excuse, Sumabeni. Quit joking. The carriage is unnecessary. You too. I open my mouth to stop them, but another voice intervenes. Oh, I hear yelling and arguing. Isn't it also a master's duty to preserve a servant's honor? <sighs> Never mind. Let's go home now. Gizlan still seems irritated and jumps into the carriage while Sumabeni gives Louis an appreciative look. Louis just nods as if it's not a big deal to him. It probably isn't. Wonderful. That is all I can say. Gizlan is always like that. I give a better smile, but Louis seems to be thinking about something while watching their carriage leave. I hope I'm wrong. I wish you were wrong, but I think we all pretty much know something's up with Gizlan at this point. A few peaceful days have passed. However, everyone is trying hard to gather more information. I just stay at Leon's mansion, so as not to get in the way and cause any trouble. All I do is have tea with Akane and Rudy, or the knights who come to visit me on occasion. I feel frustrated. Princess, I have a letter for you from Mr. Louis. From Louis? Thank you. 
I take the letter from Marionette and opened it to see. The letter says he got some useful information from Hubert. He would like to discuss it here tomorrow. Why? I don't think they're really all that far away. Why do they always keep having to do everything tomorrow? Why can't they do things right away? Useful information. I can't be happy with so little, but Louis says that it's useful information. Is something wrong? Ah, Leon. I just received a letter from Louis. I show Leon the letter, and the same part seems to get his attention. Louis wouldn't say it's useful unless it really is. That's what I think as well. Well, we won't figure it out no matter how much we think about it, so let's leave it for tomorrow. Yes. The next day, as I waited in front of the mansion feeling unsettled, the pink fringe carriage arrives. Orpheus, welcome. Mm. Yes, I received a letter from Louis. Have you heard anything about today? No, I haven't. I see. Ah, Louis's coming now. Hello, princess. You came outside just to welcome me. Oh, I see you're curious about my information. No, I just wanted to see your smiling face. Anybody would be curious if you received a letter like that. Hey, what did you hear from Hubert? Well, actually, first off, how did you get anything out of him in the first place? <laughs> oh, I would like to tell you, but could you please wait until everyone gets here? Okay. After welcoming Orpheus and Louis, we just wait for Gislan's arrival. He is always so strict about being on time. Why is he so late today? Well, should I go pick him up? When Orpheus stands up to leave, Ageha comes into the room with a serious expression. Marionette received a message from Gislan's mansion. A message? Did something happen to Gislan? Gislan passed out. Ugh. Really? We can't laugh it off this time. I will go check on his condition. You should all remain here. Hold on. I'm going with you. But she just said to remain here. You rebel, you Orpheus. They both quickly left, while I remained frozen in place. Well, I had a feeling he was not well, but he was actually... We were told to report it if there were any changes in our bodies. Yeah, but you know how stubborn Gislan is. Ugh. Violet, are you okay? Your face is turning pale. I'm going out. Where? Well, I know already. I nod to Louis, then say, I will see what is going on from the water mirror. I, this must have been the real reason why Gislan didn't want us to look in the water mirror, because he didn't want them to see how bad he was doing. I stand in front of the water mirror, with Leon and Louis by my side. If something feels wrong, then stop immediately, okay? We will also watch out, but there isn't much we can do. I understand. It would be a lie if I said I'm not scared. But, this is for Gislan. I make up my mind and dip my right hand into the water. With a little pain in my fingertips, the flowers of each country appears. As expected, Chrysanthem seems to be lacking grace. And it is worse than ever. We need to hold a ceremony as soon as possible, otherwise we may make a crucial mistake. With trembling legs, I head to Gislan's mansion with the two of them. However, 
When we arrive at Gislan's mansion, he is... Why did you come up here? Aren't you supposed to stay in the mansion? I'm sorry for being late, but I was about to leave. Liar. How is he even standing now? He speaks in his usual way, but his face looks sick. His strong willpower must be sustaining him. Well, since everyone is here, let's start the meeting. What is this alleged information? I saw the water mirror on the way here. Ugh. We can't ignore the depletion of Chrysanthem anymore. Let us hold just one more ceremony. What nonsense are you spouting? You know what could happen afterward. I fully understand, but just once should be alright. Once? Can you guarantee that? Trust my instincts, I'm the rain. Ugh. Order him as the rain. I was going to tell you anyway, but let me say it now. From now on, I don't want to have grace given to Chrysanthemum anymore. What do you mean? Gizlan looks straight into my eyes and says, I'm saying, let Chrysanthemum be destroyed. I couldn't understand what he meant for a moment. He was so proud of Chrysanthemum and sacrificed himself for the country. Now, he wants to let the country be destroyed. Gizlan, do you seriously mean that? I hate jokes. Even if we continue to hold ceremonies, it will only delay the inevitable. Well, my country always lacked grace anyway. It will only get worse in the future. In this situation, a ceremony is dangerous and nothing but a burden. That is... It is true that no matter how many ceremonies we hold, the original problem will not be solved. Louis, you too. That is a fact, Princess. Gislan's decision could also be a solution. I thought the same thing as well. Uh. I have already overcome many situations on my own, without depending on God's power. That also goes for the people of my country. People can live without depending on blessings. If Chrysanthemum happens to be destroyed, everyone in Sylvia will be afraid. Thinking who will be the next one to die. I don't want to die. That fear will make people stronger. That is a rather harsh method. This is something only Gislan could think of. Gislan, I understand your feelings. But I can't agree with that. There are too many sacrifices to make. Too soft. That's why you were too soft. There will be no change without sacrifice. Gislan yells at me, but then he staggers. You're... Gizan, in this condition, nothing you say sounds convincing. You... don't do anything risky. Princess, I'm sorry, but please let me put him to bed. Hold on, I haven't finished. I still have something to say. This bullheaded man, and just go to bed. Oh, that's mean. Ageha's chop hits him and Gislan falls to the ground. Oh, what a lovely note to end this video on. <laughs> Gislan's not doing well and we had to knock him out in order to pacify him. I feel, I feel like they should have just let us let him finish having his say though, because I mean, I know he has the rest, but is he saying that he wants to let his country die because there's not really any point anymore? Or does he just care about Violet that much? Or what's the deal, you know? Does he still have any hope that the world's gonna live at all? I wanted to hear the rest of his thoughts. But, oh well, I guess, uh, maybe we'll get to hear them later, I hope. Well, I'm actually going to discontinue the Japanese words of the day for now because, I mean, even though it doesn't take that much time, it's still extra time that it takes, so I'm going to go ahead and pass by that for now to free up some extra time for me. And I feel like my sister's the only one who's actually been paying attention to them anyway, so <laughs> I feel like, um, yeah, it's not, not really worth it at the moment. Maybe I'll continue them later when, uh, things are not quite so hectic. I'm not sure, we'll see. But for now, I hope to see you in my future videos, and I'd be so grateful for any likes, comments, subscriptions, or shares with your friends to show some support. Thank you so much for joining me, and I wish you all health, happiness, and safety. De really signing out. Bye bye, everybody.